black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. All right, yo, you know what time it is. It's taco time, baby. That's what's up. I'm not gonna lie, I do wish it was Taco Bell. I haven't had my love in a long, long time, but uh, unfortunately there is not one here. So, taco time must do, but to keep in spirit of Taco Bell, before we pour, we're just gonna go and give a shout out to the Baja Blast Mountain Dew. That's the beverage that you get when you hit Taco Bell, in my personal opinion. She's squirting everywhere. So refreshing. Probably the most unique like soda flavor on the market. I don't even know how to explain it. It's just delicious. So at Taco Time on Thursdays, they have Burrito Full Thursday where you buy one and get one half off. So I got a large super beef and then I got a large like chicken ranch supreme half off the Mexi Fries Deluxe, the loaded tots. And what's eating tacos with unless you get a couple crunchy shells, you know what I mean? You gotta get, get some hard shells. So first things first, I am actually intrigued the most to try this chicken ranch because I've never tried it before and I uh, I'd like to see how it is I'm very intrigued by it and let go nice Nice and saucy. I, of course, brought extra sour cream, but unneeded for this. We got the Valentina. Definitely gonna slap a little bit of that on there for sure. But uh, they definitely sauce that up appropriately, so. Oh man, Valentina. It is so different. Amazing. In this vid, you will be hearing some cling clang and banging from upstairs. I can't control it. it, is what it is. And the flight path is active right now. I've heard like four or five planes just while I was setting this up. Oh man. That is delicious. Okay, now we go beef. Definitely. The beef is usually the favorite, of course. Valentina. Huh. People out on the roadways were just wiling out. On my way home, I wasn't close to, to being in one myself, but all around me, I saw like five different potential, like gnarly accidents.
It is, however, 5.30 p.m., so... Rush hour. People just trying to get home or get where they got to be. Man. Valentina takes it up such a level. I will say this about Taco Time. They bless you. With lots of beef. You get what you pay for. You don't get ripped. Starving, as you can tell. First and only meal of the day. Just sucking sour cream spoons. Light path. Told you. Here comes one right now. Let's open up the floor so you can see these uh, tots a little bit better. Gonna go ahead and add one of their house made mild sauce from actual taco time. This is theirs. They have <clears throat> mild, spicy, and like really hot. I just get mild. A little Valentina as well, why not? Extra dab of sour cream, why not? Come on, come on. There you go. Probably my favorite menu item from there. Lots of times, if I was out doing stuff, I didn't want a huge meal, just a little something to eat, just grab a quick one of these, can never go wrong. Mm. I noticed something at the at Taco Time too was all female staff. Very interesting. I'm pretty sure that's illegal. I could be wrong though. I don't know. I don't know the specifics on gender diversity requirements in the workplace, but it's always, always all female too. Because now that I think of it, every time I've been there, I've never seen a dude working. So that's very interesting. And they were getting destroyed. Dinner time, drive through packed, a deal day where like, you know, the burritos are half off. If you order one, get one half off. So of course people are more, incent more likely to come through on the deal days. And like takeout orders, there's so many, like skip the dishes and those type of people there. I 
gotta say, burritos are good, but you just can't beat a taco. Hard shell taco just has such a special flavor to it. But on that note, about them getting crushed. I just gotta give a shout out to everybody. Who's worked, work, who has worked or worked. Those type of jobs where you just get like McDonald's, like Whopper Wednesdays. Where it's just insanity. I've been there myself, so I know what it's like. First hand experience. No, I use you. Physically and mentally taxing. Very much so. You know, places like uh, Starbucks, Tim Hortons, just quick service places that are always getting pumped, like, you know, all day, every day. That's why you as a customer got to be, you know, I mean, show a little, a little compassion sometimes here. Like, let's just be, just be more patient and understanding. I'd say probably most people are pretty good about it, but there's always those people in the world that think the world revolves around them and they're the most important thing. And go psycho over like the littlest things. My eyes are so much bigger than my stomach right now. I didn't think I'd be able to eat it all, but I thought I'd get further. It's like, I want to eat this, but I don't want to get like a bite in and just be like giving up. I kind of want to save it and preserve it in its natural state. Well, that was an embarrassingly weak attempt, but uh, you know, here, you just, you take this one. That'll be for you and uh, don't judge me. Okay, that's, you, this is for you. You, t you take this pile, I'll go and lay down now. But, till the next one, you know what to do. Eat good, live well. Stay true.